This is episode 250 of Weekly Dose of Aviation and to celebrate this milestone I gathered the best videos from the series and put them together in this special episode for you guys to enjoy. First up is this man who climbed onto the wing of a Boeing 737 preparing for takeoff in Nigeria. The pilot managed to spot him and turned off the engine and the man was later arrested. This DHL Boeing 757 broke in half after sliding off the runway during an emergency landing in Costa Rica. The plane was forced to make the landing after its hydraulic system failed, but luckily no one was injured. This Boeing 777 was just about to touch down, but then it started gaining altitude again. In order to land before it was too late, the pilot slammed it into the ground. The Airbus A340 landing too fast due to a flaps issue, forcing it to land without flaps. This T6 Texan had just landed when the pilot lost control. The pilot couldn't steer with the tailwheel because of a broken spring which resulted in the incident. This Boeing 737 was landing in strong winds when the plane became unstable, almost causing a wing strike. This F-15 had a hydraulic failure, causing the brakes to stop working and the pilot had to land without them. To stop the jet, the pilot had to use the arrestor hook and a capture cable on the runway. This Boeing 767 almost had a tail strike. This Boeing 767 had to go around due to an Airbus A330 Neo still taking off on the same runway. This Airbus A350 landing at London Heathrow was battling a crosswind and ended up landing a lot harder than usual, resulting in this. Oh, easy! Oh, my flipping heck! Wow! I'm surprised that's not a touch and go, mate. Wow, that was pretty gnarly, man. Watch that back if you missed it. This Boeing 727 was overloaded and took off at the last second, spraying debris onto people at the end of the runway. This Airbus A321neo came in unusually low, almost hitting spectators while landing in Skiathos, Greece. The 
this Boeing 757 was forced to land too fast due to its flaps being stuck in the takeoff position. The plane landed while going 160 knots and was met by fire services. This Boeing 767 was landing at an airport in Brazil but came in low and almost hit the mountain wall before the runway. This plane, trying to land in a crosswind, was sent into a nosedive by the extreme winds above the runway. The plane was forced to go around and attempt the landing again. This plane has to nosedive for the runway to be able to land. This is St. Barthelemy, one of the most challenging airports to land at in the world. And this is how planes approach it. This C5M Galaxy took off too slow, forcing the Airbus A330 behind it to go around. This Boeing 757 was taking off when it had an engine failure, causing a fire in the engine. No, it's just trying to take off. Blue motor. Fire crews quickly responded to the scene, and this happened at John Wayne Airport in California. This F-15 was taking off when suddenly it had a compressor stall causing flames to shoot out of the engine. Luckily, the pilot could still abort the takeoff and no one was injured. This plane had to abort its takeoff after it started hydroplaning to the right on the wet runway. This FedEx MD-10 extended its landing gear a lot later than it should while landing in Chicago, as if the pilots forgot to do it. Also, right now, you guys get free international shipping on all orders over $50 on the Aviation Central. Go check it out at the link in the description and get the best aviation merchandise out there.
This Boeing 737 had an issue with its reverse thrust, forcing it to land in wet conditions without it. This F-15 was taking off when suddenly it had a compressor stall causing flames to shoot out of the engine. Luckily, the pilot could still abort the takeoff and no one was injured. This Boeing 747 struck a bird while taking off from an airport in India. This Boeing 737 had a tail strike while taking off from Iceland, as you can hear by the distinct sound. In most cases, the plane would return back to the airport, but in this case, the pilots decided to continue to their destination. The Airbus A330 hit a light pole while taxiing. Even though this wasn't during takeoff, it was close to it and resulted in minor damage, but luckily, no one was injured. This Boeing 777 aborting its takeoff and applying full rudder. This led to the plane literally drifting across the runway. This Boeing 737 took off but turned too much, causing the bank angle alarm to go off. This Boeing 737 was too heavy and could barely take off before the end of the runway. This Airbus A350 struggling to take off as it only has one functioning engine and half its usual power.
This Boeing 787 was taking off from Poland, but had to abort due to a problem with its right engine. This Airbus A321neo approaching the runway unusually low, almost hitting spectators while landing at Skiathos, Greece. <laughs> These two pilots attempted to swap planes mid-air by both of them jumping out and landing inside the other plane. One of the pilots managed to do it while the second plane entered a spin. The second plane crashed to the ground while the pilot landed safely using a parachute. The stunt was done by Red Bull and luckily no one was injured. This person was laying down at the end of a runway when a plane came in for landing. This plane got struck by lightning. This student pilot entered a spin as a training maneuver and the instructor explained how you get out of one. Okay, full back speed, full rudder. Go. Go. Fuck look at the, look at the airspeed. Yeah. And call out whether it's stable or not. Yeah. Stable, look, yeah. At, the, look at the altitude. Yeah. Call, call off every... Yeah, that's zero now. I like 6,000. Let go of the stick, just keep the stick yeah. back like that, yeah. Five and a half. You can let go of the stick. Let go of the stick. It doesn't do anything, see? Okay. This is scaring me. Five thousand. Yeah. Okay, coming up to four and a half. Yeah. So hands on the hands dash. Hands on the dash. Opposite rudder. Opposite push that rudder. Push that rudder. Push it, push, 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 push. Push, push. There you go. Now grab the stick. Grab pull the out stick. the dive. Fucking hell. Three thousand two hundred feet. Fuck me. Awesome, huh? You won't get that anywhere else. <laughs> this is another Airbus A321neo approaching too low while landing at Skiathos, Greece. This Cessna 182 in Colombia had to make an emergency landing with only one wheel. Luckily, no one was injured. This plane entering a spin, basically falling out of the sky. This Airbus A330 that was taking off when at the last second a flock of birds struck the plane, causing damage to the engine. The 
the engine started vibrating, so the pilots declared an emergency and had to return to the airport. The plane then had to land while overweight, since it was supposed to burn its fuel from Dublin to Chicago. But they landed safely and luckily no one was injured. A fire broke out next to this plane at Melbourne Airport in Australia after a ground vehicle caught on fire. The plane wasn't damaged and luckily no one was injured. This Finnair Boeing 757 was taking off from Helsinki when a large eagle flew into the engine. This pilot had to land on a busy highway after an engine failure. managed to land in a curve and avoid the cars. This happened in North Carolina. This Boeing 727 pilot couldn't wait to retract the landing gear. It looks like he needed to do it to gain altitude. This trailer getting blown over by a Boeing 777 jet blast. This was done as a test and no one was injured. This Boeing 737 pilot really wanted to take the first exit after landing using full brakes to make it. It still wasn't enough, so they decided to make a U-turn on the runway. This helicopter dropping a car in Iceland. This fighter jet being chased by another fighter jet. This is known as a dogfight and you can see how the jet that's being chased is deploying flares to avoid getting shot by missiles. This was at an air show in Sweden, so luckily they weren't actually fighting and both of the jets were just creepens. This is how two helicopters would drop soldiers into an active battlefield. Luckily, the shooting is not real and this was a practice. This person stopped on the side of the road when they noticed a jet dropping flares above them.
This Airbus A330 had to make an emergency landing after a problem with its left engine. You can see that only the right engine was used for reverse thrust. These Boeing 737 pilots taking off like a fighter jet, resulting in a bank angle warning. This C-130 flying with its door open. This plane made an emergency landing on a highway and now it has to take off. This Airbus A310 was doing a low pass when it suddenly turned left and nearly struck its wing. This happened at an air show in Portugal. This Boeing 747 destroying the terrain next to the runway while taking off. The runway recently had new sod put down next to it, and that was no match for the powerful 747. This Airbus A380 had an unstable approach, causing it to go around. This Airbus A350 pilot making a super smooth landing in Amsterdam. This Joss Gripen jet was flying really slow when another jet almost hit it. Luckily, they managed to barely avoid each other. This hot air balloon in Sweden had clearance to pass over an airport, but as they were passing over it, the wind stopped and they couldn't move. They maintained their altitude so the plane below them could still take off, and this is how it looked. This Airbus A300 braking as hard as possible, causing smoke to come out of the brakes. This Airbus A380 landing hard. This F-35 showing off its VTOL capabilities, which means it can stay still mid-air. This small plane is also capable of dropping fire retardant. This Airbus A321 was landing at an airport in Sweden when these cool vortices started to appear behind the wing. We're, we're landing! We're landing! Ah. 
This pilot doing a high G maneuver in an F-16. This Boeing 777X doing a dangerously steep takeoff to show off at an air show. Takeoffs like these are obviously not possible with passengers, but this was at the 2022 Farnborough Air Show. This guest at an air show got a free ride in a plane, but when the pilot got out, the guest stole the plane and was not very good at flying. That is not the prescribed method for takeoff. Yikes! Oh, buddy, fuck that! No, now he's coming this way. Stop! No, 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 no! Oh, dear me. As you might have guessed, this was staged, but whoever was flying did a good job acting. This Airbus A319 flying really close to another plane. Then they did it again, but this time even closer. This was at an air show in Slovakia. This Airbus A380 was taking off in a dangerously steep climb. This was intentional at an air show in Paris. This F-16 went a little too fast at an air show, almost breaking the sound barrier. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Everybody. <laughs> this C-27 making a very steep approach. <laughs> This is the US Air Force Thunderbirds flying very low over a beach. This Piper Cub pilot is actually very skilled, but during this air show act he tried to fly as bad as possible, resulting in two wing strikes. Hey Tora, look out! Liz, he's coming at you! <laughs> well, actually, he might have, he might have figured it out. I think he's working his way back over to the room. Well, I don't know if he can hear us at all, but if, if, if you pull back on the stick, the houses get smaller. You push forward on the stick, the houses get bigger. If you pull back on the stick far enough, the houses get bigger. Zippy's gonna chew each other. Look at him. He's getting that karate kid move ready to go. Wow. I don't, Matt, I don't think you figured out that crosswind wing. You got the upwind wing in the air. Oh, what is this? That's a real wing. Yeah, that is. Oh, gosh. This is how an FA 18 shooting sounds. Sicherheitszone. Mit dem Rad. This F-111 shooting huge flames, known as a dump and burn maneuver.
This was at an air show in Australia and the last ever dump and burn display in the world. This Boeing 747 flying too low over San Francisco if it weren't for it being an air show performance. <laughs> This was at San Francisco Fleet Week and the huge 747-400 made multiple low passes over the bay. This Airbus A319 making a low pass over a crowd at an air show in Slovakia. This fighter jet being chased by another fighter jet. This is known as a dogfight and you can see how the jet that's being chased is deploying flares to avoid getting shot by missiles. This was at an air show in Sweden, so luckily they weren't actually fighting and both of the jets were just creepens. This Boeing 777X making a very steep takeoff and then some very steep turns. This was at an air show in Dubai. These two jets shooting at a target. This overweight Boeing 727 taking off too late from an airport in Colombia. It barely managed to take off and luckily no one was injured. This MD-11 was cleared to land but at the same time a Boeing 767 was lining up for takeoff on the same runway it was supposed to land on. The MD-11 was forced to go around and the 767 had to abort its takeoff. This Airbus A321neo landing at Skiathos airport in Greece approaching too low. Oh. 
Even though Skiados is known for low approaches, leading up to its very short runway, planes usually have more margin than this. This Airbus A321 landed and bounced, almost resulting in a tail strike. This Cessna 180 suffered a ground loop while landing at an air show. This Embraer 190 had to make an emergency landing without its nose gear. The pilot kept the nose up for as long as possible before coming to a stop, and this happened in the Bahamas. This Airbus A330 had an engine failure one hour after leaving the airport, forcing it to dump fuel and return for an emergency landing. Only one engine was used for reverse thrust, but luckily the plane came to a stop. This Boeing 747 landed very hard in Amsterdam. This Airbus A350 was trying to land at an airport in Chicago, but had to abort due to wind shear, resulting in a touch and go.
And last but not least, this Airbus A321 landing in a storm, touching down with his nose wheel first. This plane had just touched down when it went off the runway and crashed into a parked helicopter. The pilot lost control while landing in St. Barthelemy, but luckily everyone was okay afterwards. This Beechcraft Bonanza was approaching Oshkosh when it hit another plane's wake turbulence and had a very close call. The pilot managed to save it at the last second. This Airbus A380 looks like it's hovering while approaching Dallas airport. Look at it, for real, it looks like it's just kind of hovering there. This is an optical illusion that is actually pretty common. This Airbus A330 bounced before landing in Boston. This is how planes pick up banners. This Red Bull helicopter showing off. This Aero Sucre Boeing 727 was approaching an airport in Colombia without tower control and without visibility in bad weather conditions. And when they came out of the clouds, they noticed they were not really lined up with the runway at all. <laughs> They then made the decision to abort the landing attempt. This pilot stalling on purpose as an aerobatic display at an air show. This Boeing 767 starting up for the first time after an engine change, resulting in smoke and fire coming out of the engine.
and this is completely normal. This helicopter deploying more than a hundred flares in just a few seconds. This F-18 doing a barrel roll with its landing gear out. This is how pushing back a Boeing 737 looks. This helicopter struck some high voltage power lines while doing a rescue exercise. Luckily, they were able to recover and no one was injured. This Boeing 757 suffered a problem with its landing gear, forcing it to use the emergency gear extension system. This basically unlocks the landing gear doors and lets gravity pull the landing gear down. This is also why the doors are still open. The plane then made an emergency landing with a blown tire and was met by fire crews. Sorry, the shaky is always floating. Oh, I think he popped the tire. Crap. Oh, something's wrong. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, the gear's on fire. The right uh, mains are on fire. Oh, this runway is going to be shut down for a while. while. This water bomber bouncing multiple times before finally settling down to scoop up water. This beach duke was landing when it blew a tire and went off the runway. It then had a propeller strike while trying to taxi back on its own. This passenger was on board a Boeing 737 flying into Salt Lake City and captured this lightning strike. This Airbus A350 making a rejected takeoff test with its brakes smoking. This Airbus A380 landing didn't go as planned and the huge plane almost veered off the runway. This resulted in a go-around.
This Airbus A319 landing sideways in a crosswind at Bristol Airport. This plane landed unusually hard, but at least one guy enjoyed it. This Airbus A380 showing off its engine power when blasting off from a wet runway. A person submitted their first solo landing. This Boeing 777X taking off really fast, likely doing a performance test. This Boeing 737 landing at John Wayne Airport landed really hard during Storm Hillary and then its landing gear collapsed. Here you can see sparks flying as the engine scrapes across the ground. The plane finally came to a stop, unable to taxi to the gate, with one of its engines resting on the ground. Luckily, no one was injured. These two planes flying by with a surprise. This Airbus A320 fighting a crosswind while landing at Bristol Airport. These two planes sharing a runway at Birmingham Airport. This Boeing 767 taking off from Antarctica, creating a cloud of snow behind it. These two F-18s flying too low over a football game in Atlanta. The pilots flew at just a few hundred feet above the stadium, which was below the 1,000 feet minimum required by US Navy rules. Because of this, the pilots were permanently grounded. This Boeing 767 struggling to land, bouncing multiple times down the runway.
This Boeing 737 landing in strong crosswinds at an airport in South Australia, filmed in slow motion. This US Air Force C-17 pushing back on its own using reverse thrust. When it started taxiing, it blew a gazebo into the crowd. <laughs> and after taking off, it came back around for a low flyby. That's it for this special episode. Thank you for watching and supporting this series. Subscribe to watch more and I'll see you guys in the next one.